Coach, and welcome to another episode of Merkin Thrifting with Rob, Sammy, and Thunder Nova, Nova Scotia Jack, and Make This Battle Ryan. We did the, uh, we're trying to do all the tiers of kind of thrifting. We do the Red Racks, which is kind of like, you know, uh, Salvation Army type stuff, and then we went to Goodwill, which is trying to be for, uh, not for profit, but it's for profit. They lie to you. And now we're in a flea market, which is an awesome one. This is Vendors Mart in Springfield, Missouri. And uh, yeah, I think they've already run off. They don't know of the established rules of flea markets with the left, right, left, right, and trying to catch everything. So we're just going to jump right in and see what we can find. And then we're going to go get Thai food afterwards because Springfield, Missouri has some excellent Thai food because Thai Express. Stuff, stuff, stuff. I'll jump in with them. Marco. Now, typically the rule of thumb with places that are this big is place used to be. We don't dial nine. How much is that? Can you wear it? With I want bed? you to get that for. I want one of those hats to go to Justin, and one of them to go with you. So I'm buying that for you. Oh, this one's classy. Five dollars. Five dollars. Okay. Well, you pick one of these hats. Terrible. This this one will be. Which one do you want? Do you like this one or do you like the the fish and dick one? Uh, 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 uh. All right. Proud to be American. What is that? Stand your ground. All right. Let's say we have two hats coming here. American. Two hats from this pot. One for you. One for Justin. Uh huh. And then the dick I'll fishing one. That's that's a bonus. So much I'll, fun. I'll find one for Justin. All right. So the, typically the rule of thumb with uh, flea markets that are huge like this is they're kind of exhausting. Uh, I normally save them for about the end of the day because when you have a hundred booths and you just you walk in and you're like, oh shit, what's all this stuff? I call it smoke, uh, smoke, the smoke and fire rule, basically. You look at a booth, and uh, let's just do this one real quick, and I'll show you how I work these. I look at this, and immediately I'm like, okay, there's no toys in here. Everything's like doilies and old people crap. Uh, oh, that's orange. I'm looking for colors, and I'm looking for similar things like kids' toys, video games. Uh, and then, so I'm looking for, it's really colors. It's like the equivalent of like hunting for berries in the wilderness, you know? So I, this is a booth where I wouldn't even spend three seconds. I'd just be like, nope, nope, doilies, old people, red hat stuff, move on. And then this one, I'd be like, oh, okay, this is actually worth a little bit of my time. I see something like a toy right here, but I still wouldn't give it a ton of time. I'd come through here and then pretty much exactly what you saw right there, I'm done with it. This one, lots of bright colors. There could be, there could be good stuff. Good, oh, yeah. nope, nope, Rob, move on. Rob, I think I found the two most obnoxiously American hats. All American Patriot, ready to defend. Stick to you. <laughs> Let me see, there might be another one in there. You're not even getting the connotation of it. Do that, we don't dial 911. Bite me, marijuana hat. I'd rather be hunting princess. Proud to be an American. That's cool. That we don't dial 911. That's just. All right. But those Amer which, uh, which, which one don't I take? Okay. Because these are pretty similar now I think about it. This one has more flag on it, so I think. I think that's, yeah. Dude, you sold me with that. That's so funny. Shut up and hunt. Nine millimeter. Yeah, yeah, no, these these are the two. Oh, brother. Right. We got that. Oh, God. That, that, looks, just... that looks too much like a Trump hat. Okay, I, like I couldn't those. even do a Trump hat as a Oh, joke. dude, yeah, that, that's it. That's the winner. Which one's for Justin? Uh, Justin will be watching this, too. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with this one for Justin. All Justin, American Patriot. Anything on the back? Does it say America fuck yeah or anything? That's just got a big ass flag. Oh, dude, that's. We nailed it. All right, Justin. He's been actually watching all of our content for this. And okay, this okay. He's... Are you streaming this or filming I'm this? filming it, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Sammy's bandwidth. All right, so let's move so on. You, you take these and cut them down, or just no? Them I actually like them as whole. It's kind of really fun to just kind of the experience. I'm really kind of getting more to that, I'm trying to return to documentary rather than yeah. like forming something like uh, an experience. Like I kind of just like it's fun. I think mm -hmm. this is the most fun. It's just kind of walking around and just checking it out, and yeah, it's the real talking mentality. So here, this is how you do these. You do left, right, left, right. If you uh, walk around, you'll miss stuff, and so there's almost kind of like in. When there's smoke, there's fire. You're looking for colors in a booth. You're kind of looking for like, see, there's some toys in here, so you kind of do a quick look. But you don't want to waste too much time because you get exhausted from like yeah. scouring, yeah, you know. Every little thing. Yeah. So you're looking for toys. You're looking for. I'm usually looking for video games, but you might also just be looking just to look, you know. Looking for video games. Looking for weapons. Are you just astonished at the sheer amount of weapons that are available uh, it's everywhere? It's, it's a bit silly sometimes. Okay, this is another very, I would imagine, oh, American thing. All of this food here is uh, probably ex expired food. Uh -huh. uh, Dude, they got a full section of jerky right here. Uh, okay, so that's... Uh, oh, shit. These are 29 okay. What is it? Expired beef jerky. It's fine. Uh, I had a girlfriend that really pushed me away from buying what she called basement food. 
Um, and most of this stuff, it's just a little expired. Let's see. Expires April 8th, 2017. So just a little expired. And so like stores are not able to... Yeah. Stores aren't able to sell these once they're expired, but so they throw them away and these people probably have a connection. That's the original pricing? Yeah, that's $8 and now it's $2 because it's uh, probably three-year-old beef jerky at this point. And so you be the judge, but man, I fell victim to the uh, discount beef jerky. This beef yeah. jer he bought yeah. a pound of beef jerky for 20 bucks and that was a steal at a gas station. Yeah. I say steer clear of the basement food. <laughs> I don't know, I had some... Uh... I don't know. Oh, this is a bag. That's pretty cool. You have not done nearly enough LSD to have that bag. Let's go this way. We'll come back this way. Or oh, if you, no, no, this is we'll get on the way out. This place is luckily not as big as it used to be because they converted the downstairs into storage. They got candy. Candy doesn't really expire. Uh, it's all relative, man. Like really, like expiration dates are very relative, and most of that stuff is probably safe. Most of it is like. Anyway, it's not like it's actually it back. is legally. Uh, it's the gray area of um, capitalism right there. Like yeah. they can't sell it in in, uh, in Walmart, but oh, so found, they can sell it in the basement. I found you? something to go with my uh, with my sleeveless shirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Right. A boy can dream. I want that. I want the kangaroo. That dude, accent. that's cool. Ooh. He man, I had that one on the upper left, and uh, I think that I had Skeletor. Like those are the two you really need to have. The rest of them, I don't remember the names. And then uh, this is pretty much all thrift stores. You'll find a racist doll. All right, what do we got? Okay, okay. We, we have an outfit. Okay. We have an outfit. Right, come, come, come all right. in this way. Wait, 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 wait. It, it starts over here. Oh, it starts does it? We've got we've got a full outfit plan for our shooting. I just want to say, Ryan, I'm like 99.9% .9 hetero, and your accent just melts my heart. <laughs> So, okay, this is your cape. <laughs> this, is, so this is the first one, but there's that yeah. one. Or, 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 or you could go for the don't step on me. Wait, how much is this? Like, like eight bucks. If I give this, if I buy that, will you bring that home to Justin? That's no. six dollars? No. You won't bring that home to Justin. So there's, or, so, or you could have a, a so join or buy. Right? There's, there's don't Justin, me. I just want you to know that he turned you down for a confederate flag. There's, that, there's this one and it says, Oh, what come about that one? Come, come take it. Would you, buy, would you take that home? I mean, I would. But you also need to get these Winchester stuff. Oh, no, we're getting we've in the dress time. Oh, Winchester stuff. We, no, 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 we're so, getting the whole outfit. So, so, so that's, so that's the cape, cape and, yep. then, and then you gotta go over All right, so yeah. we then need we to make should. a decision. Will you bring him home the flag with the come and take it? Oh, yes. Shit. Justin, you have a good, but you won't do the Confederate flag. Not the Confederate flag. Okay, that could be, that could be no, funny in customs. history that I don't agree with. I, I agree with you, but that's why it's funny. So, although the don't so, yeah. step on me might be funnier. Uh, you pick, you pick. Get the don't step on me, I think you'll find that funnier. Don't tread on me. Yeah, that's yeah. just like the tea party kind of just banner of. Because uh, Justin loves the the joke of like the the snake with the ball gag, and it's like, please step on me. Nice, Justin. We wish you could be here, but we're just gonna have to buy you stupid stuff instead. Yeah. All right. Let's pull those. All right, okay. So, yeah. All right. so one of those cape. is your cape. That's right. the Confederate flag. Come on. Yeah. I mean, Confederate not, flag. Not a question. And then there's the shirt that we got, which is like the tiny sleeveless. Yep. Like Sammy. Blue. Sammy sleeveless. And then, one. and then you get a choice. These are options. There's uh, there's oh. the suspenders, right? But then it gets better because they go on. They go. On. I almost want Confederate suspenders. And rainbow suspenders and too. And they go on these. And they go on these, right? And then while you're drinking you, out of that stand, and you drink from this with aviators on, and your freedom all around. Are these swim trunks? Yeah, I was gonna get them. Get them, cause I want a pair too. Let's find another pair. Oh um, man, here's your flag. Did you bring swim yeah. trunks, Ryan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, I did. Okay. Oh, All right, you got dibs on those? Oh, I think. Shit. Is, there, is there an American flag brass knuckles? I feel like that has to be a thing. No, no, we got an American flag knife. fidget spinner. That's about as close as it's going to get. We got an American, uh, American flag spinner. Guys, I'm, I'm having a really good time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. It's a gun sword. What? It's a gun sword. <laughs> or you can get, get yourself a flail. <laughs> you can get yourself an actual flail. Dude. No one ever talks about like flails and how you're just most likely gonna hit yourself yeah. in the head. Should I get the flail? No, we just don't need flail. Oh, hey, here we go. Here we go. Here's some more American trunks. See? I've seen tens of Somebody, I kind of don't want to spend money on freedom. Though. Rob, should I get? The I think you need. You wanted to get American something. I think. Should I get the flail? Way too much money. No, nah, you don't need a taser. That's if your rent money. Me drifting, I won't be able to eat. All right, here we go. You just gotta make tough decisions. I'll go have these on those damn bo box or on those swim trunks, because. Are you sure you don't want sure a miniature Holy battle map? Holy shit, can I Dude, I have a tomahawk. Can I become the next vampire hunter? 
Jesus. I want so this one. just doesn't happen? You, you can't you just buy weapons the, like this anymore? No. no. Not well, like okay, okay. There are knives. places... Yeah. You can go to camping stores, and there are places that will sell knives. You can do that. Um, but they're not, like, murder knives. No, no, no we don't sell murder knives like this. <laughs> That's a Slim Jim. That's actually for breaking into car... Oh, no, no, no. It's a sword. Yeah. I thought it was a Slim Jim. It's you like can... Boat. Alright, let's keep going. Like, we don't Swords. get stupid knives. Oh man, I want a knife shaped like an AK-47. <laughs> so much freedom. That's pretty great. <laughs> Alright, let's M keep going. Dude, they got ninja stars. Got oh angles. god, that sounds like a bad idea. I've got some throwing knives we can throw. That's... You've actually got a lot of If I can get wow, a good deal on these ninja so stars, if they'll group them together for like 10 bucks. Because uh, each of them says are like 669. I think you can make ninja stars. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna get hurt. Dude! He's like, he gets it thrown and it's stuck in his leg. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah cool. Alright, let's go this way. No, no, they can't because they sell those Batman Batarang things in my house. Right, oh, dude, I have those too! This yeah, I have them at time. my house. John Deere. Oh my god, I want this tiny dad. Look nice. at it. Those are like shitty Pokemon. Pokemon's pretty shitty. So Alright, I haven't seen a single Nerf Blaster yet, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna find them. Neat what? bike, what'd you find? A denim vest. It's like made of jeans. Hello. <laughs> oh, sea clams! You need sea clams, don't you? How much are they? This is actually a really good place to buy tools. 10 bucks, I'm saying. Eh, 15. For three of them, though, man. Yeah. We'll be all right. We'll... Yeah. That's, that's cheaper that's than you're going to get them, but like, that's not a thing you need right I'm now. Kinda, I'm kind of bitter because my grinder here didn't work that great. <laughs> Can we shoot one of these terrifying dogs? Uh, I mean, I was already going to bring a trash bag full of uh, stuffed animals they out for us to shoot because dreams. America. Yeah. Elmo in a chicken suit. That's pretty sweet. Does it work? I don't care. Sweet. It's not what it looks like. And another element of thrifting is uh, dude, you go in booths that have like are lined with glassware. Just don't even go in that booth unless there's like, you know, a crossbow in there because you're going to knock stuff over if you're big and dopey like me. Except for all the craft pipes and bombs, we say. Oh, yeah. They're only for tobacco use only. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, legitimate. Yeah, yeah, right. I still want that table. That chainsaw is pretty sweet. Yeah. Wait, which one? I don't know. I don't like chainsaws. Hold on, hold on. Tobacco use only. Uh, let's check this down here. This is the one I was looking for because they sometimes I bought two sweet revenges here for ten dollars one time. Me and RJ did. I don't see anything, dude. The Barbie boots are starting to show up with Rebel stuff too, which is really really cool. So how you doing, Internet? How y'all how y'all doing? If you're watching this, I appreciate it. Just kind of trying to share this. I'm trying to share a little bit of Ryan with you because it's been real special for him to come down and hang out with us and just to man, it's really cool to just kind of connect these two worlds. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay. <laughs> First off, no don't get hurt. Second off, don't break anything. This song had to come on. Born in the USA. Dude, Spice Girls. All the Spice Girls. What'd you find? Oh, we, we had the Justin Best Meets on the Sun sticker. Where's these nerfs? It's, uh... I'm glad we came here. Alright, so we should turn... Have we done this one yet? I don't think we have. Are you sure? I think you jump back and forth and you're breaking the cardinal rule of thrifting. I don't think we've done this aisle. See, that's why dude, I'm really like anal about it. Most of the, It's fun to see how you guys do it, Like, uh, but there's times when like, if you just don't check every booth, you'll just miss stuff. That's all they have to sell to buy Sometimes that's alright, and then, uh, dude, like, when it used to be in the basement, the basement was, like, half the price of being upstairs, like, if you were by the leaky Whoa. part. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God, Whoa. I want it. I like what this guy does. This, this guy, I know pretty well. Hey, UG. This is, this is our rifle. Lancer. I really <laughs> oh. It's totally trademark infringement. I wonder if this guy makes it on his own or totally line. This is totally Ah. What is that? It's a... Uh... That's a tri-beam laser rifle from Fallout. Well, and they, and they mark them as different the... things. It just says chainsaw, right? Yeah, yeah and then yeah, that one is the old killer from Hobbit. It is Hero Sword. What is this, this is one? Warrior Even our wood is guns. And this is Hero Sword. <laughs> Alright, let me check down here. I don't think there's anything down here.
Hmm. Yep. Don't care. I think this is the best spot for them. This right. is kind of great. I know, right? That's pretty I great, that. yeah. Man, I used to come here. What does that right? label as? Assault rifle? Uh, it is called the assault rifle. rifle. <laughs> yeah. What are these? Oh, the Magnum. Oh, these, are, these are plasma pistols. Is how
What's that? In this home, we intend to keep it that way. Dude, that's dude, that's our public schools I mean, pretty much, man. Texas. In God we trust is on our money. And, God bless uh, Texas. That's just the second chapter of that story. Right? Come back with a war. <laughs> Welcome, friends. I have seen that one. I've seen that one. Oh, uh, I guess which one people don't like? The bear one. Yeah, I like bears. They Invest in precious metals. It can catch your dreams of equality. That's pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. Yeah. You find anything cool? I like your hats. That's pretty cool, though, man. All right, let's that go. Would be the most out of place thing. Oh, did we forget the flag, or did you hide the no, flag? It's, it's in my hat. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go down this next this one. Place has one, one. Uh, wait, 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 we just here? We were here, yeah. but we need to go down here. Let's go. Let's go down here and then loop around. That's kind of the technique to it. It used to be pretty solid with like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes there's flea markets Dude, that drive is that me nuts. A drum? No, nah, that's a. Oh, what do you call that? Ottoman. A, uh, Ottoman. That's it. But yeah, sometimes when there's odd numbers of aisles, it just kind of drives you a little nuts, like these flat ones. What? You don't need it. I have a tomahawk you can play with. I'll try and like. So if you're this far in, let's do that platypus thing. Oh, there platypus. You go. If you. Ooh, waste, you dude, that's discs. actually those are. If you needed those, that'd be cool to find. I, it. My oh. mine came with it. The disc for the target shooter. Have mine you ever seen that? With... It's like a skeet shooter. It's a Nerf skeet shooter, yeah. and it comes with a uh, RF uh, switch that goes on top. I mean, I have it. It's I on have my base. one, but I did it. Cool. Cool. And we uh, when we used our our Sentinel stress test video, we used them as uh, crotch blockers. That's we pretty cool. Gorilla tape them to our wieners we so we could shoot each other. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Also, right. Everybody, keep them right. behind me because I'm working ass. Oh, Sammy. Crop dusted. Hey, at least I went into another booth. No, that screams America. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh I actually found. Uh, I've been here so many Whoa, times that I remember the pencil. stuff that I bought and where. Oh no, that doesn't look electric, is it? Oh, you're right, you're right. That's the point on there. But I found oh, this, a... This is a shell hole. They have shell holders. I found a 100-pack uh, box of Whistler darts here for $2, uh, like, still in the case. That was, a, that was a good day. And I found an Earl PAS on this next booth. Maybe it was back the other way, but close to here. That's a pretty cool. How much is that? I would pay $2 for that, not a cent more. I bet it's price of 15 Nope, I'd say it's $6. $10. Oh. Price is right. I still won. I want it. Rock and roll, even my posters are pure metal. That's adorable. That's like a dad joke metal, metal okay. poster. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, okay. it is. It really, really is. It is actually made of metal. No, it is actually made of metal. Alright, let's keep going. I'm craving Thai food. Yeah, yeah. Not trying to rush, but you know. But we're oh, I'm just looking for that PAS. You'll just get stuck in here chicken. forever though. Bumblebee. I always like those masks, man. They're really well made. Oh no, they switched it up. They went to Navy. We're good. See, this is one I would typically look at because there's a bunch of toys in there. But so, have we seen any Nerf yet? Oh, we saw the butt wagon sixes, and then that uh, yes. the crappy Raider thing, and then the Nerf crotch guards. Let's do all of it. What we got? Um, is it just me, or does Jesus look like he has a lazy eye? Oh man, it's so many painted that they did a pretty good job with it. Let me. <laughs> I'm a fan of the J man. I like the the Shelby Jesus, who is just kind of cool with people and just you know doesn't hate people. And that that looks like that Jesus to me. Uh, nope. We'll loop back around there. Oh man, I'm splitting. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna follow the kangaroo. How often do you see kangaroos in your normal life? Let's just get this out of the way. Uh, in my normal life, like rarely, but when I travel, like from Sydney to Melbourne on the train, like every single time. Okay, so it's like deer here, basically, just like if yeah, you get out. Yeah, no, of no, no, exactly. They're not in the city, so if you're in the city always, you never see them. But the moment oh, you go any side way out of the city, you, you see them. Got it. That's a spot loader. These are the shorts I was telling you about. Ooh, <laughs> who wears short shorts? Sammy wears short shorts. Short shorts. I mean, we got Lincoln wrong, my friend. Man, I wish I wish we had something like that and I could get out of my workshop with just old, you know, second hand tools. Dude, like you'll find great deals on it too. Like uh, even screwdrivers, like every time you buy a screwdriver, mm. it's seven dollars. And if you just buy them here, like you can get them for fifty cents, you know? Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you gotta dig through a pile and maybe wipe some grease off of it, but man, that's worth five yeah, fifty. Exactly. Oh actually, so when we went to the bazaar thing uh, with Adrian, uh -huh. um I so you know manual drills where they wrote yeah, oh, yeah. all the ones that you do like this? Do those work? Have you ever done? Yeah, no, no, they they work. Um, but we saw a drill press that was like that. It was so bizarre. You spun the handle and then it had this little ratchet thing that uh -huh. after a certain amount of time it just made the drill go steadily lower. That's really cool. It was, it was 
There's been a few times where I'm like, oh man, I really, I think you can kind of almost get as good as a drill press for most things by just being good at drilling. But then uh, other times, like when you like the uh, what do they call it, the the die or whatever, when you're trying to put it down in there, mm -hmm. if you need something specific and you're drilling something really thin, yeah, yeah. I think uh, they, they definitely have their place, and I feel like it's a very essential piece of equipment. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. That's how camera was too. Camera was just like I drill press is almost mandatory. Borderlands, Halo 3. So one thing I really like using the drill press for is because it's a press, you can use it to press on flywheels. Huh. Yeah. Here you go, Rob. What I really want is a bandsaw, because I think oh, yes. I used Bobo's down in, in Georgia, and that was just excellent to cut stuff with that. All right. What's up, Negan? I actually made a Negan bat. It's up in my. I found that in my room. It's up close. Oh yeah, yeah. It's in your yeah, closet. Yeah, I was just wondering why my business. Dude, something with a baseball bat. Yeah. You I never mean, hit something? we have a few. Nope. I, I, I need a really few people. Yeah. Actually, most people play softball, so I've never actually held a football. Yeah, and even here, like that's how it kind of goes too. Like, and with the hollow core, with the pressurized, like the wooden's, it's only for baseball for the most part. It, it has a feel to it. So when I was deer hunting at Sammy's place, I, uh, I, I defended the barn all day, and I found two things. I found barbed wire, and I found a baseball bat made of wood. And uh, through my 18 hours of board and 12 hours of boredom, I ended up making a Lucille, and I successfully defended the barn from Nazi deer all day. Didn't see a single one. They were scared. That sounds really cool. You know what has to be done. <laughs> Oh, that creepy baby. Oh, this is just like the Dracula's Bobo. It's a rubber face doll. Bobo loves Dracula. Precisely. Oh, there's a hammer. Check that hammer. See how much that is. Yeah, because we need another good uh, heavy hammer that's not a piece of garbage. If that's three dollars, we're buying it. Six bucks. How does it feel? Nah. nah. I have my hammer. I'm just trying to get you going. What'd you find? Oh, dude, I got one of those my uh, in my. It's a vest, and it's ten bucks. Yeah, I got one that I got for like about that price in my um, in my garage. We can totally screw with that. I don't know what we do with oh, it. Oh, but... I, I don't know if I trust my life for something that costs ten bucks. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, yeah. There's there's uh, scuba diving, and have there's you, also you floating in the room. No. Oh, okay. I found it for I found cheap. Found the jacket for Jack. I actually bought it in case uh, for RG for HPA oh, yeah. stuff because it's just like, or even my stuff. Of sometimes <laughs> you just need a rig to kind of build off oh, yeah. of, and it had a really sure, heavy frame to it. Okay. I mean, that was what I originally did. I had a, you know, scoop hey, top. How much would you pay for that a so uh, cargo shorts? Uh, depend if they fit my chode. These ones are like twelve forty-five. Oh, I'm good, man. I got, I got solid, solid uh, three or four pairs right now. There was some modulus stuff here that he had marked at like way too much monies, and uh, I assumed it was going to be here until Jesus came back. In quotes. Um, but no, I don't see it. So maybe, maybe Jesus came back and got it. <laughs> this is a man's look. You don't don't rip that coat because then we gotta buy it. What are we gonna I'm not do with it? Rip it. I'm just gonna rock it. All right. I played Fat Man in the little coat before. You won't ever get it off. Well, that's true. Ooh. I can my body. Guinea pig food. <laughs> oh, I'm less than after this Thai food. Just the guy. Uh, I think we pretty much got to the end. Of yep. This. See now, as much as we've done, we're like, oh, this is kind of a nice amount of booths. There used to be exactly this amount, except downstairs too, oh, and no. it was, yeah, it was, it was exhausting and you'd get to the end of it and you're like okay i'm officially done thrifting but forever yeah i kind of like it where they've gotten rid of some of the booths like just too much they now use the storage down there for oh. mercy and stuff i have like four of those i have too many see they bought this from red racks they're like oh i guess i could resell this they have it was they paid a dollar 98 and they're charging 2.99 that doesn't seem like a good idea guys that seems like you wasted your time enjoy it Maybe it's been sitting there for a year. They thought they struck gold, and then they went to the next thrift store and saw eight of them. Oh, dude, that's about the. That's not as sketchy as the one I had. That was. <laughs> no, it's. Spider Ryan. Spider Ryan. Scratchy. Look how deep the uh, the implant of the wood is. This is where I get most of my screwdrivers here. Like, let's see. A dollar for a good flathead. Really, my problem is. Uh, I'm either like in that position where I got like eight Phillips and one flathead, or I got like whatever I need I don't have, and so I'll buy like eight of them for a pile for, for like three bucks, and it's just this never-ending cycle. And now I'm at the point where there's just piles. I think I'm I'm short stacked on flatheads right now, which is stupid. 
But how often do you need a flat end? Yeah, that's that's what I made my drag knife out. All right, let's um. dollars. I think did we skip a couple rows on the other side? I think we no, did. I think that was it. No, I think we skipped it. Yeah, I think I on the other side, I think we were, we have. Well, let's just go back uh, down. You pick a row. It doesn't matter. I think we just head to the other side, hit the last two hours, and then bug out, go buy our America things. So how's your America weekend been so far, Ryan? Pretty good. We haven't had quite the explodey bits, but you know we've yeah. done the the little kid versions of that. And that's, tomorrow, uh, that's that was the wall. We're working on. Uh, Sammy is that's trying to figure that's... out when his dad's going to be in town tomorrow. He's trying to come out and because uh, I really want him to be able to shoot trap with you because we got a trap machine. Yes. And uh, so if we can get a few hours of Sammy with us camping before he's got to take off, man, that would be excellent. So wait, who owns the trap machine? I do. Uh -huh. I see. Yep. So when we go to Walmart tonight, we'll need to get a bunch of bunch of pigeons. I mean, a box comes with either like 90 or 120 Wait, 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 No, no, I think we gotta go back this way. Yeah, we need to head over like that quadrant, but so head down here all the way to the wall and make it. Nope, we're good. See, this is the big crazy electronics booth with the helicopter, and then here's these. It is pretty cool. See, I've just seen these so many times that I'm just like, oh, I don't, it's interesting, but I don't really need any of that. I know, I just do wish to see that they exist. I like to think that it's a dude who makes that with his bandsaw, and I think I'm much more impressed than that is if they came from China and he's just marking them off, you know? Oh, they probably did. Yeah. Alright, so we've got oh, two rows over there they haven't done yet, and then we're done. Weapons. Oh. Shovels and gasoline. And a Confederate flag or two. Yeah, I think we skip probably these two right here and then we're done. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think we did the one over here, so it's probably just this one and then maybe, uh, I think there's a, another discount food room over there. Classic. Crutches. Yeah, I don't remember any of this stuff, but I don't know if I care. Ooh, what is that? Uh, nitrous oxide? Yeah, let me maybe you can... Mr. Oh. HPA. Uh, oh, nitrox. So nitrox is a uh, specific percentage mixture of nitrogen and oxygen. And so what it allows you to do is go deeper because then you can, uh, it, it, uh, so you don't get the, the bends and oh, stuff. Okay. So, you don't so get, it's definitely a scuba tank though. It's definitely a scuba tank, but it's specifically one for nitrox, which is a, yeah. Got it. So, so instead of compressing air, they get nitrogen and oxygen and mix it in a certain ratio. Got it. Yeah. So it would be uh, like atmosphere would be like a certain percentage of nitrogen and then that yeah. adds more to it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. You know what these are, Rob? These are conch shells. And what people do is they cut off the tip and they make blow horns. I don't want to do that. You can do that if you want, but I think I just break it. Like. Okay. Yeah. So there's, yeah, there's, there's normal air, nitrox, and then there's also trimix. Huh. See that yeah. black and white? So much weapons. You don't need it. That's ten dollars, and I feel like I do. Dude, dude, knives here. I have so many knives at my house, and you can just dig through them all and have as many as you want. I had knives before I had guns, and then knives just lost their zest. What is this? It's a fish skinning board. Oh, okay. So you put the tail right in there, and then it's a scaler, and you can also fillet them up. At least that's what my brain says. Like sometimes things look look similar, but with that clamp, that's definitely for sad fish. All right. Let's uh, head up here to this room on the left, and there might be some good stuff in there, sometimes not. Diet orange. Yeah. That, would, that would be fun to shoot. Uh, let's go in here. It's the furniture room, but sometimes there's other things in here. Like a bidet. Bidet to you, sir. Like a sweet elephant. Oh, it feels like a fat lady armpit in here. That's cool. She's on a tomatress chair. What? I don't want to die. Oh my god, that's I like that because there's a fan on your grundle, you know? It's gonna hit 88 miles per hour. Is that working? I don't know what that is. RPMs, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, moving on. You can keep rocking. I'll be back. I like that fan. That fan was good because this room is definitely swampy. What's that? Isn't that cool? Oh yeah. Oh, five hundred dollars. 
We're adults, we swear. Dude, Dude there's a sweet ramp where kids can <laughs> break themselves. Is that like a stone eagle or is it like fake? Is it heavy? $45, that's way too rich for my blood. That's like the kind of thing. Dude, if I find that in the river, I totally keep it. But otherwise, well. I found a lot of cool things in the river. Like um, Aqua Trigger, you ever watch him? What? He finds like, uh, goes. $4. Neat. Oh, dude, this is actually an old projector. Like, this is like before there was uh, projection screens and stuff. You're good, you're good. And, uh, it's, dude, it's a uh, coffee table projector table. If that works, that would be fucking awesome. Because it projects uh, red, green, blue. Let's oh, see. Oh, wow. $35. Wow. I don't need that. I want that, but I don't need that. So I'm going to keep walking before Rob makes a stupid decision. We have to cram in the neon again. <laughs> Because I have a, a nice projector and I'm actually planning on upgrading it. I could have gone wrong. Ooh, that's a sexy couch. Nice little billiards table. Running that could have gone bad. I, I, I could have gone very bad, but it didn't. So it's all good. I was kind of a fan of like the Olympic size tables, like the bigger ones, you know? Like those, those are fun too. It's good for oh, bouncing, yeah. but. That's what I like to see. Oh, not that much though. Oh shit, it's like $500. Yeah, that's reasonable though if it's made out of like. You can kind of, the devil's in the I details mean, of pool tables. Like, so. even like you look right here and there's just staples right there. So, it's yeah. it's not the nicest one, but it looks really sturdy. Plus, it's all. So, yeah. uh, I don't want to, I don't need a build sander. All right. Uh, I think I'm pretty well set in this room. We can look at the discount food. And I don't really want any of it because I've had diarrhea. <laughs> Keep walking, cool. Sammy. These are three bucks. I know, man, but it's, it's old and it's expired. And you have no idea which basement that came from. I'm gonna risk it. It's two it's two pounds. I'm gonna risk it. This is this is what happens with basement food. You're just like, man, I can't I can't pass that price up, and before you know it, food poisoning. I'm a, I'm not saying I'm not gonna eat some of your because you're gonna I'm gonna forget that it's expired and you got it for two dollars. How many are in there? It's it literally says two pounds. Wow. It's watermelon and green apple. I've uh, I've had to steer Sammy off of the basement expired jerky many times and I don't even know if I'm right for doing it you know like it's no, you had to steer me away from the damn uh, gas station tacos all we got to remember is that most of our food has so many chemicals in it that it makes it last forever but maybe things happen what you got that's pretty much me that's let's be real hey Rob did you see what's playing Power to the danger zone all right, I think we're good with our wigs. I'm good here. All right, I would like to purchase your hats and the Justin flag. I'm gonna film you, is that okay? Cool. That's all we got. Oh, soda. And I'm also gonna have four sodas too. Four sodas? Yeah. What's that? Oh yeah, I'll give you twenty. How much are they? Uh, like nine. So I'll give you five when we get back. Oh okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Alright, and I've also got these America shorts. Hey uh, what kind of sodas do you guys want? They've got cold sodas and they're great. Yes. I recommend the squirt because uh, man, it's either squirt or the uh, root beer is what I usually go for. Let's go for a Sprite. Sprite? What kind of soda do you want, Sammy? I'll take a Fanta Orange. Ryan, what kind of soda would you like? Strawberry's pretty good. You read that? Sure. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, Dawn Ranger Bites. What are they? Expired. Soft and chewy candies. This is what we talked about basement food. Uh -huh. And man, it does. Two bucks for that. It's hard, man. It's, it's difficult. It's not too bad. Oh, one se 2017. Yeah, it's only, uh, what is it? Eight months expired? Six months expired? Something That's like it. that. I'm risking it. It's relative. It. I've done it. I haven't died yet. Scrumpy! <gasps> is that a regular here? He is, yes. He's one of our employees. Oh. Okay, let me see if I got this right. We got. Tell me when you're ready for the soda situation. 
All right, I'm gonna do two strawberries, one Sprite, and what do you want? You want a Fanta orange? Yes. And a Fanta orange. And I do believe this concludes our uh, American thrifting. I think this might be the last one. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Tonight we're gonna do a little real talk. We're gonna talk about relationships yeah. and HVZ, and uh, that should be fun. No, get it, man. It's already too late. We've already, we've already wrote that check. Let's just cash it. Hey, uh, I'm gonna pay for it right now. So get over here. Sammy, we have to science this. I talked him out of buying expired basement food <laughs> for the better. All right, what do we owe you? All good, it's uh, 29 dollars Doctor? Oh, right here. Oh, here's that. Sorry about that. Yep. Yeah, I guess it was 80. Yep. So, yeah, it's Stay tuned for some real talk tonight. And oh, dude, we're gonna be blowing stuff up out of the range. I'm bringing yes. my GoPros. I might even bring my HMC so I can zoom in on that Tannerite. That, that will be fun. Boom, it's tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. We love you, Justin. <laughs>